But there is one name that is above. Every name. And that's the name Jesus. And at his name, every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess that he is Lord. The name of Jesus. It means so much to have a, a good name. It means so much. I told you all some time ago I was uh, that was when Gachos was open. Those wonderful suits that I used to buy at Gachos. I was down there one day and to pay a bill, and uh, one of the salesmen said to me, I want to show you some new outfits we got. And he brought me into the men department and started showing me. He said, this is your size right through here, this whole line. And he just showed me so many beautiful, beautiful suits. He said, Doug, don't you think you want to buy one today? I said, oh, no. No, I can't afford one today. I can't afford it. Oh, come on, you can. No, oh, no, I can't afford that. And then he reminded me, he said, uh, do your dad, do your mom have an account yet? I said, my mother has. Why don't you call her and ask her, can you use her name? So I got on the phone, and I called her. I said, Ma, she said, yeah, baby. Where are you at? I said, I'm at uh, paying that bill. She said, you are? I said, yeah. I said, what you want, baby? I said, you know, I see a nice suit down here I'd like to buy. But I don't have no account here. And I like, do you would you let me use your name? She said, Of course, baby, go on and use my name. She put the man on the phone. The man got on the phone. And she said, Let my boy have what he wants. And he said, Thank you, man. He said, go pick out what you want. Your mom told me to let you have it. Just on her name. <laughs> My mother didn't have no whole lot, but she had a good name. <laughs> and everybody, everybody, or to strive to have a good name. It means so much. You have a good name. It is recognized and respected of all men. A good name. I never shall forget uh, a relative said to one of my sons, Bob Jr., said, son, you got a good name. He said, uh, if you be half the man, I know you can't be the man that your dad is. But if you be half the man that your dad is, 
you're going to be somebody. Good name. A name. A name. When you go to Sears, those who work for Sears and Roba, they never say Mary, John, Joe, whoever. They always go in the name of the company. Who is it? Sears. And those of us who knows Sears and Roebuck, we don't have to look through the people, which is better that you do now. But you can just open the door, just on that name. So it means so much. People who play with that credit, play with it. Who carelessly pay their bills. You can corrupt a good name. A good name when will spin when your money won't. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of our renowned preachers whose name is being spreaded all over the world. Don't ever ever get so big till you forget who you are. The Lord said to me, I asked the Lord, listening to all of that talk, I said, Lord, what happened? He said to me, son, he said, the danger in life when you don't see people as yourself, when you start looking down at people instead of looking at people, You stand in danger of the judgment. Hallelujah. No matter how big you are, no matter what you have ascertained in life, you better know that people are people. They may not have the books like you have. They may not have the name that you have, but you better respect the fact that they are human beings. Some of the child, hallelujah. The name Jesus, the source of salvation. The source of it. The very source of salvation. There is no way for man to be saved apart from this name. There is no way for man named to be written down in heaven without this name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A man who's going to have to face the Almighty yes. going to have to use this name. Yes. Yes. 
Can I get y'all to pray with me just for a few minutes? In Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Look at that. Look at that. 4 and 12. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. It reads, when you get it, do you have it? Yes, All right, it reads, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. It is the greatest name that has ever been mentioned among men. Hallelujah. Apart from that name, there is no salvation. There's salvation in that name. That name is good for healing. The name is good for deliverance. When you get in trouble, there's not a better name. Sometimes you run out of words, but if you can just remember Jesus, That, that, that name can say everything you need to say. Uh, you, you talk about a prayer, a complete prayer. Just the name Jesus. In that name is everything that you need. The name. The name. The name. The name. You ought to, you ought to, you ought to wear that name proudly with an uplifted head. You ought to be proud that I'm a representative of Jesus. No Jesus. Somebody. Hallelujah. I was born what they would call underprivileged. I was born with nothing to brag about. Born, and I was born in a community that uh, did not know what had been birthed in that community. So, the community looked down on me. I could hear the children talking in that little country school, in those little holes where we used to play at, I could hear them talking about me for what their parents were saying. They thought that nothing had happened. A little black boy. No name. No name. And uh, my mother left me in the hand of my grandmother, who was a good person to me and my grandfather. 
Never ate a meal that I wasn't included. Never bought clothes that I didn't have something bought for me. My grandmother and my grandfather not knowing who and what had happened in that community. People used to poke fun at me, but didn't know that one day, this little black boy was going to meet a man by the name of Jesus. that was going to set his heart on fire. Place an anointing upon him that would be unusual. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. They didn't know. They didn't know. Like many today don't know. You think I'm ready to get out of here, but I got something to do before I get out of here. I've got some shaking to do before I get out of here. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Look to me. I met that man called Jesus. I met him. I met him. And he leaked in my heart. My God to my life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Number two, there is an authority in baptism. According to Acts chapter 4, chapter 10 and verse 48. Look at 10 and 48, the 48 verse. 48 verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake somebody's hands. I believe you're going to hear something this morning. My God. My God. Thank you. Reach over and catch somebody by the hand and say to them, your miracle is in this house. Hey, whoa. God have mercy. God have mercy. My God, my God, son. In that 40th verse, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. It's something about getting in Jesus' presence. You don't want to leave him, and you don't want him to leave you. My cry is, Lord, don't leave me. Just don't leave me. If you just, if you stay with me, I know I'm going to make it. God have mercy. Glory to God. I know it's rough, but I can make it. If you just stay with me. Hallelujah. And I heard him say, Lo, I'm with you. Always. Even until the end of the world, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be there. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to speak for you. I'm going to be your guide. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Jesus. Sit down if you can. 
kind of money? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. That's why I don't look down on babies that are born and don't have no daddy to claim them. Be careful how you talk about them. That may be your leader. That may be the one that's going to give you your breakthrough. That may be the one going to show you the light. Have I got a witness here? Have I got a witness in this place? This morning with my mind on Jesus. I got him in my mind. Lord have mercy. Sit down just for a moment. Sit down for a moment. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody before I leave and close my eyes and open them on the other side, somebody gonna know that the Lord has turned. Me. Somebody gonna know that the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Number three. He is the center of gathering. He's the very center. Yes, sir. If he's not in the crowd, it's not much to the crowd. He makes the crowd what it is. It's like Leaving sugar out of a cake. All right now. Or salt out of your season. He is the reason for the season. I hear people bragging. I've been around those who just bragging and bragging about where they've been, what school they have attended, what kind of grade they made. They was saying certain things to the principal or what have you. But I rejoice in that I know Jesus. Baby, that's shown sure up enough. I know him. I know him. I've gone to places that I didn't feel so welcome. But in talking to him, he whispered in my spirit ear, not here, but down in here and say, I'm with you. He's been so wonderful. Such a marvelous God. Such a magnificent God. 
so wonderful. I had him. I've been on trial with him. I never shall forget. I was called at one time to meet a Jewish man who was in trouble, who was this time for paying attention. And one of my members worked for him and reminded him there's a prophet in town. And if you talk to him, God can give you a miracle. I was out of town, I came back with that miracle service that Saturday morning and somebody said, you got a Jew in your office. What is he there for? He's there to see you. He's bound for penitentiary. Yes, but we told him if he just get you to lay hands on him, that God will give him a miracle. I don't know why y'all told him that. So we're like, we know it, Pastor. Go on back there. He's waiting for you. So I went back in that office, my office, and there he was, little bald head fellow. And he said, uh, so and so, so and so told me to come and get a miracle. He said that you're a prophet of the Almighty. I said, You want a miracle? He said, yes, sir. You really want a miracle? <laughs> yes, sir. I said, I'll tell you what. I want you right now, repent for denying Jesus. And let me hear you say Jesus. I'm sorry for denying your name. He said it. I said, now whether you meant it or not, but because she was obedient, God's going to give you a miracle. I think I need to tell this testimony. Because she was obedient, because you confess that you saw it, that you denounced it, the name Jesus and that he is Lord and he is your Lord you're going to get a miracle and I told him to go on he was in court and he called for me then that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday he called for me Tell him to please come see me. It's rough. Look like I'm going to lose. The Lord didn't want me to go then. Friday morning. If I never say another word to you. He woke me up. He said put on a black suit. A white shirt. And a black tie. I want you to go in the coat room. This morning, I got out there. They was in high ray. When I walked in, the judge stopped and looked at me. Then the whole courtroom turned to see what the judge was looking at. And there I was. Sat in the wrong seat, sat right there where the families were supposed to be seated. I sat right there behind the man. And he turned, he said, look like I'm going to lose. When he turned, I put his little head between my two hands. 
And I said, in the name of Jesus, I command a miracle for this man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command a miracle. People, it's power in his name. It's deliverance in his name. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Went on home. I walked on out as I'll see you later. Walked out the courtroom. The news, the 12 o'clock news said that there was a strange man that entered the courtroom today and we're trying to find out where he is but the Lord would not let him catch me because I was not to get in the glory the glory was to God Almighty somebody ought to shout hallelujah It's power. It's power in his name. How many here believe that it's power in it? How many here know that it's power in his name? God have mercy. Oh my God. Shake somebody's hands and thank God for the name Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus, God Almighty. Thank God for the name Jesus. That's, that's all you need. Oh, I got to go to heaven now. I said, that's all you need. Is, just need his name. His name is all right. It'll wipe tears from your eyes. It lift up your bow down head. It give ease to your troubling heart. It's something about his name. Y'all sit down. Y'all gonna make me preach here this morning. God have mercy. My God, my God. My God. Mm, my Lord. I feel funny in here today. I feel something in here. I feel an anointing in this place. Lord have mercy. My God, my God. My God, my God. My God, my God. Thank you. I thank you. I, I, I just thank you for, for who you are. I thank you for what you're doing. I thank you. Lord have mercy. I, I'm going to close now. Y'all sit down just for just a minute now. Sit down for a minute. Shake somebody's hands. I'm getting ready for my breakthrough. I'm getting ready for my breakthrough. I am getting ready for my breakthrough. My breakthrough. I feel it right now. I, I feel it right now. I feel my. Yeah, whoa. Lord have mercy. in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 20. St. Matthew. Lord have mercy. 
18 and 20. Hallelujah. together in my name. Let me hear you say, in my name. In my name. There am I in the midst of them. Look at somebody and say, the Lord is in our midst. Look at him and say, whatever you need, the Lord is in our midst. You can get it. Just lift your head up and say, thank you, Jesus, for it. Just say, thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you for it. It's yours for the action. It's in your midst. Is here. To make sure, Jerry, your miracle baby, your miracle man, that's my boy. I love that boy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my father. There am I in the midst. When we come together in the name of Jesus, you can get what you want. He's ready to release your need right then and right there. Just Tell him what you want. He ain't got to holler at him. He's right there. He's closer than your next breath. He's ready to release into your life miracles. 
almost too much for you to believe. But he's ready to do it for you. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. You don't know what you have when you have that name. That precious name. That glorious name. Has more miracle been written by the name Jesus than any name on earth? It's somebody. And his hand is heavy in this church. This is why I don't play with nobody. I'm playing less than ever. Got to get people to, to be serious about it. I'm tired of people sitting under me and not being blessed. The Lord promised me that He'll bless who I bless. His name. Is all you need. There's another thing. Power in discipline. God wants us disciplined. He don't want us acting fools. He don't want us doing foolish things. He wants us to act like somebody who's been trained, who's well disciplined, who's well trained. Because God wants to stand up on your behalf. God wants to fight your battles. You can't play with him. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you need. And believe him for it. And know that it shall happen. It's got to happen. Because you got the right name. Right name. The right name. Because you got the right man. When you got the right man with the right name, you got everything you need, man. Good God Almighty. Good gracious of life. Mm, somebody, I was looking for somebody here this morning. I don't see him. But I want everybody in here to know that this is a morning of miracles. This, this is your morning, a miracle. 